uh, I received a notification that I have a software update. Here it is. I'm really hoping that this is a revision to the Autopilot 2.0 so that uh, we can get little self-driving capability at a higher speed, maybe adaptive cruise control at a higher speed. So let's see. Aha. Yeah, there's a little trick. If you want it to go right away, just tap it five times. I'm sure you all know that. But if you didn't, there's a little trick. Hmm. Software update. Uh, hmm. Like I said, in a, I really think Elon and his team should probably have like a little Tesla, little bar going across the screen or something to kind of show the progress of the update and how long it's going to take or something. I think that would be really cool for them to do. Just a nice little visual aspect if you're wanting to sit here and <laughs> watch your software update like I kind of want to do. I'll probably end up uh, cutting this because you probably don't want to watch a software update going <laughs> for like an hour or something. Well, stay tuned. Let's hope this is revisions to autopilot. All right. <clears throat> so, update successful. Yay! All right. So, we got side collision warning. Um, introducing enhanced autopilot. Forward collision warning. Traffic aware cruise control. Operating traffic cruise control. Low speed auto steer. Beta. Okay. Well, I'm going to read this and then give you a brief description of what all this says. I'm kind of excited, but I really want to read this. So, first time I noticed this, but it seems like additional autopilots uh, features are now available on your vehicle. So basically, just side collision warning is available. So, it's active between seven miles and 85 miles. It detects close objects, uh, lines will radiate, um, from your instrument panel. So, reading here, for your reference, the previous release notes are included below. So, they did not change anything with auto steer or um, traffic aware cruise control. So, I keep calling it adaptive cruise control, so I'm using the wrong term. It's traffic aware cruise control beta. Ah, uh, wait. It says here, in this release, auto steer is available only below 50 miles per hour. Once you've exceeded this speed limit, speed, auto steer will not. So, it, I will test this. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I might head out to a highway just so I can go under 50 because I know today it will probably not be. But it says this feature will not activate below 45. So we have a contradiction here of either 50 or 45. So they may have upped the speed to 50. And it doesn't look like they changed anything in the traffic aware uh, cruise control here still have to do it above 18 miles per hour um, you can use traffic aware cruise control while driving at least five miles an hour <laughs> it actually goes down to zero but anyway um, yeah that's that's kinda interesting I will see if I can go 50 miles an hour on the highway without pissing anyone off that's that's it. I might try that. I might not. Just tried out uh, driving after the new. Up
update, software update, and as you can probably see, adaptive cruise control is above 75. Thank you, that's awesome. So we're going up to 80. Uh, it only goes up to 80, so they increased it by 5, which makes me believe that they probably increased the autopilot features, self-drive, uh, to 50 also, because they bumped this one up by 5. So, a little bit better. I'm glad that they bumped adaptive cruise control up to 80. That allows me to go to 80 when it is 80 miles an hour, and it also allows me to go to 80 when it is 75 miles an hour. Either way, thank you Elon and Tesla team. That is very helpful. Maybe a couple more weeks we can have self-driving capabilities at 75, maybe 80 miles an hour. That would be super awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if there's anything you would like to know, let me know. And I will try to produce a video or answer your questions. Thank you. Bye. So I just noticed driving in a little bit closer traffic that the sensors, um, if you look at, you probably can't see it, but if you look at the little car icon down here, <clears throat> there's the sensors are a lot more active now and it seems like they're way more sensitive than they were before. Uh, the color changing is definitely different. There's different shades of yellow, and it's giving me a back angle that is kind of sensing someone kind of at my rear quarter panel a little bit more than it used to. It, it just, so the software has done more than just the speed. I, I haven't been sideswiped yet. Which is a good thing. So the sensors are a lot more sensitive than they used to be, which is probably a result of that new side collision warning that Tesla put out uh, just this morning. And yeah, so yeah, it's it's giving me like even a back uh, sensor where it never used to before, and, and the colors are definitely different. So they've definitely been in So they've definitely done more than just the speeds and I really don't want to try to test my luck with the side collision warning indicator. So I'm just going to let leave that one be just assume it's there and if I ever need it hopefully it works. So that's all I got. All right, bye.